This is a sweet speech. Recently, there were local elections in Norway. I received a letter making me believe that the Norwegian Directorate of Elections, Valgdirektoratet, is ethnically profiling immigrant voters. Were they? That's what we will address in this video. Before we get started, I want to thank all of my financial supporters. This is my day job. Without you, this channel would not be possible. I also want you to want to ask you to check out my website at sweetspeaks.com and to follow me on BitChute. There are links in the box below. And you know, better safe than sorry, so make sure to follow me there. I mean it, it's really important. Also, check out a Swede Travels here on YouTube. Uh, and so as I said, recently there were local elections in Norway, elections for the committees of municipalities and counties. The elections were held on September 9th, and before the elections, I received a letter from the Norwegian Directorate of Elections urging me to use the right to vote. Among other things, the letter says, quote, Participation among voters with immigrant background is rising. Contribute to set a new record. At the local elections of 2015, the election participation among voters with immigrant background rose. Then it was 40% who, who cast their vote. Contribute to an even higher participation by voting in this year's election. Unquote. To figure out what's going on, I called up the Norwegian Directorate of Elections. Listen to this. Uh, hello, my name is John. Uh, I received a letter from you before the election uh, yeah. telling me to remember to use my, my right to vote. And the letter said that the party position among voters with immigrant background is, uh, is rising and contribute to set a new record. So I wonder, did you send this to everyone who is an immigrant or to everyone who lives in Norway, no, no matter if they're immigrants or not? No, we, we, uh, we did two different things. Number one, we sent a letter to, uh, to a certain group of uh, immigrants. If you, have, if, you, if you have an address in Norway but you don't have a citizenship, or if you have uh, a citizenship for less than 17 years. So all, all those people got the letter, and in, in, in addition, we sent a uh, text message and SMS to uh, to all the to all the voting population. Okay, uh, that's what I wanted to know. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye. So as you heard, this letter was only sent to immigrants. By the way, I'm a Norwegian citizen since 2013. Does the Norwegian Directorate of Elections keep an immigrant index, including naturalized citizens? How do they know that naturalized citizens want to be singled out as being immigrants? Perhaps we want to be Norwegians, since we have become Norwegian citizens. And when it comes to the ethnic profiling, I am well aware that immigrants is not an ethnicity. However, most immigrants in Norway are not ethnic Norwegians. Of course there are some exceptions to that rule. For instance, Norwegian Americans returning to the old country and things like that. But as a general rule, immigrants in Norway are not ethnic Norwegians. Although I actually have a 17th century Norwegian ancestor. But I digress. The point is, no matter if you happen to be ethnically Swedish, Russian, Han Chinese, Luo or something else, you are not ethnically Norwegian and as far as I can tell, we have all been ethnically profiled by the Norwegian Directorate of Elections. Something that I strongly dislike. By the way, I voted in a way that I think that the people working at the directorate would not appreciate. And that's what I have to say about this. So what do you think? Comment below. And if you like this video, I'd really appreciate any donations. Even a dollar makes a difference. If everyone who watched this channel gave one dollar, it would transform this channel. Just take a look at the links below. But if you really can't financially support this channel, I would be very grateful if you would share a link to one of your favorite videos from this channel on your social media, because ad revenue also helps. And it also helps against YouTube's deranking of this channel. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, most importantly, please pray for this channel. I have been traveling for a while, solving some issues in Norway. I will still be traveling some, but I'm, I am working on finding a solution to get back to live streaming. And as I said, go ahead and follow us Sweet Travels. There will be videos coming up on that channel shortly. Until next time, have a nice day.
Thank you for watching and God bless.